dream is like a crime. You have to catch it in progress. With a memory as reliable as that of an old IBM computer, most of the time our mind doesn't store these dreams. Brains visualize dreams in different ways. In letters. In geometrical shapes. In primary colors. Or even through golden picture frames. January 23rd, 1978. 87 flamingos, 352 cats, 560 dogs, 12 squid and one armadillo. In my dreams, squirrels are the most frequent. Let's rewind a bit. On more than 10 occasions, a bushy-browed squirrel entered my dreams, giving me important advice on my private matters, thus becoming a significant part of my life. As a symbolic gesture of admiration, I drew a portrait of him and placed it on my wall and in my wallet. I even had an air freshener shaped like him made for my car. One day, a man noticed the air freshener dangling above my dashboard. It came to light that we both shared a special relationship with this squirrel. The only difference was that in his dreams, the squirrel wore a fur hat and a pair of glasses. After posting the picture of this squirrel on notice boards of local shops, I found out that these squirrels were appearing in people's dreams all over the city. Oh, all right then, mate. Uh, I think I've seen your squirrel. No, I don't think I've seen it. I've definitely seen it. I know I've seen it. Uh... To explore further, I immersed myself in dream interpretation books and experimented with various black magic methods. I took my dream catcher and replaced its feathers with squirrel hair and covered myself with dream lotion, hoping to strengthen the connection with the squirrel. None of this worked, so I built a modern dream catcher made up of three square wave oscillators, a wave modulator and a voltage divider. Now, by connecting it to a VHS recorder, I've managed to gather up an extensive library of dreams about the squirrel on carefully labeled videotapes. February 15th, 1983, was particularly dream active. First, the squirrel appeared in Indonesia, helping the chief of the Kombai tribe to decide on the sweet potato harvest the next month. Then, a few hours later, the wave modulator located him on the coast of India, where he was giving advice to a woman on her family issues. Finally, visiting the actor Michael Caine in East London, encouraging him to take the lead role in the film Educating Rita, which led him to win the Oscar in 1984. It's uh, me again. Just phoning to say that I ain't seen the little uh, squirrel around for a while. I haven't had him in my dreams and it's starting to freak me out a little bit. If you didn't know where he's gone, do give me a shout and just let me know. All right, cheerio, mate. Yeah.